Hello and welcome to Carol's Daily Socks. I am back you guys with another video. Mm -hmm. Reaction video of that. So I took a little reaction video break, but y'all, I said, First of all, before I even say what I said, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell so that you, mm -hmm, yes, you beautiful person, are reminded of all of the videos that I upload. Please share with your family and friends. And don't forget to click that bell. Okay, so you guys, I got a fan going, so my little straight hair is flying all over the place. <sighs> I think I... Um, compared to a lot of people, was very, very, very excited about Olivia and Gerard getting married. There were a lot of people who had negative to say. There were a lot of people who wanted them to fail, all that. I didn't. I like Olivia and Gerard together. I had completely stopped doing videos of Olivia and Gerard. Why in the world did I have to go on YouTube today and find out, actually it wasn't only today, I went last week and there was some drama with Olivia and Gerard. Or is it really some drama or y'all trying to buy something or pay bills or what, what's going on? So what got me Y'all, Gerard wants a fraternity test. Gerard know good and darn well that Robin, Christian, and Ryan look just like him. He couldn't deny those children if he tried. Is he crazy? So, I just want to say this. I don't know what's going on with him. I don't because I have not watched, um, like I said, I was sick. I just now started getting back into watching videos and stuff like that because, you know, we're in this shelter in place. So I have a lot of time, a lot of time to look at videos because I don't work outside the home. So I've got a lot of time to do stuff, but I'm getting sick and tired of looking at all these videos when things are continuing to be the same as they always are. It would be okay if somebody was teaching us something and it's something for our good. But when you're talking about my baby daddy left, he want a paternity test, he want this and that, it gotta stop. So again, I don't know what's going on with them. I believe I read something about possibly him having another baby or something like that, gotten somebody else pregnant. Liv put on her video that this is a life update. Look, Stop it. She's talking about she drunk. And I guess she said she can get drunk because she was in her own house. She don't care what nobody says. She grown. She said she was grown quite a few times. And she is. She is. She can do what she wants. It is her household. But guess what? Olivia and Gerard love each other. And they will be back together soon. Watch. Watch what I tell you. Olivia starts the video out and she said that her husband is tripping. She said that she spoke to him and he is under the impression that Olivia is the biggest cheater in the world. Olivia is like, nope, I'm not no big cheater. You're the one that's a cheater. And in order to get the attention off of him, Gerard, she's saying he's trying to put it on her. Obviously there was a problem with her texting someone. After I listened to a video a little bit longer, I found out that that someone was definitely a man because Olivia went on to say that she hates to lie, she likes to keep it 100%, and yes, she was texting someone and that, you know, she gonna tell the truth because she grown. It has nothing to do with being grown. Whatever happened to being respectable to the person that you love because guess what if you didn't love them you shouldn't have got married to them if 
you love him, why are you cheating on him? Now, she said that she hates to lie. She likes to keep it 100%. Gerard said that she had been cheating in Houston. I believe, based on what the video said, she did cheat on Gerard, but only one time. Once again, they need to go to counseling. They need to go to counseling, marital counseling. Am I a counselor? No, but I've had relationships and I know what it looks like and what it feels like to need to go to counseling. And they only need to go to counseling for their marriage if they want to work it out. If they don't want to work it out, cool. They can go on ahead and go on about their business. But now Gerard is requesting DNA tests on all the children. Girl, you know Gerard know good and darn well that all them children is his. Them kids got beady eyes just like Gerard. They all look just like him. They cute. I ain't dogging her kids. She got some beautiful kids. But y'all a DNA test? Come on now. So she said that she's always honest with Gerard. She doesn't lie to him about stuff. She tells him everything. That is how a marriage is supposed to be. You're supposed to be able to tell your significant other, your spouse, everything. And she did say, but it's kind of funny because, and contradictory because she said that she tells Gerard everything, but she says that there are some things that she chooses not to tell him. And when she chooses not to tell him, Gerard tends to think that she's a cheater. Olivia also said that she felt like Gerard was lucky because she's had chances to cheat with people who are close to Gerard, but because of the fact that she loves Gerard, she wouldn't even take it up the, the offer of cheating. And these are people close to him. So there's a good possibility that could be family members or whatever. We don't know. All we know is what Olivia is saying. My opinion and my opinion only. There are no excuses with cheating. Nobody should cheat. This, this is the thing I've always said my entire life in every relationship I've ever been in. Whether someone was cheating on me or not. Because I've been in them too. And I got out of them. This is the thing. If you're in a relationship with someone and you don't want to be in the relationship with some, that person, get out of the relationship. Why cheat on the person if you don't want to be with the person? Get out of the relationship. I don't understand. I, I can never understand that. There are no excuses in cheating, as I said. She admitted on cheating with Gerard one time before. Um, why did they get married? What did they get married for? If you love someone and your love is strong, anything that you go through should be able to be something that you can get through together. And then she was saying that Gerard wants her to have a DNA. If she gets the DNA test that when they sign that line on that line, she's gonna put him on child support. He should be on child support Anyway, if he's not living in the household with you, if you have ever had a problem with him with child support. See, some of us, such as myself, was married to a man. I never had to put him on child support. Know why? Because he knew those children were his and he knew that that was his responsibility. It was my responsibility too, but because they were with me the majority of the time, about 98% of the time, um, he knew. Now, granted, he was in the military. Maybe he was smart enough to know, I'm going to just go ahead and give her this money because she will call the command because I would have, because my children shouldn't have to suffer just as well as anybody else's children shouldn't have to suffer because the man or the woman does not want to pay child support when you know that the child is yours. I believe that Gerard knows his own children are his. I believe this is a tactic that Gerard is doing because he found Olivia talking to or texting someone else. I believe he's hurt. But my advice to them would be this. If you want to work on your relationship, which I'm sure, sure, sure they do, 
Liv and Gerard are better together. They need to go through counseling though. They need to go through some sort of marital counseling so that they can get over these humps. Because guess what? This is the reality. If Liv was texting someone else, it's because whatever it is that she was looking for and getting in that person that she was texting, she was not getting it from Gerard. Be open in your relationships to let your significant other know what it is that you need, what it is that you're not getting. If you want to be in a relationship with someone else, by all means, end that relationship that you have with that person and go and seek other relationships. But don't seek other relationships while you are in a relationship or married to someone else. It's not right. On top of everything, the most important thing in that relationship or the most important persons in that relationship is their children. What type of message is Olivia giving Robin and Ryan by having their dad and Christian, by having their dad be there and not there and be there and not be there. See, that's the type of stuff I didn't want for my children. I wanted my children's father to not be acting Bucky and doing what it is that he wanted to do, teaching my sons what it looked like to not be a faithful husband. I didn't want my kids to see that. I wanted my kids to know what it is. And I'm gonna tell you something, as a result of me making the responsibility to walk away, I have very good sons. My sons, I got one, he, he's the youngest one. He ain't looking at nobody. He might look at a, a young lady and say she's nice looking, but cheating and all that, that's the furthest from his mind because of what he's seeing his father do to me and how much it hurt me. It made him turn out to be a better young man. Gerard, get it together. You and Olivia go to counseling. Those children deserve it. That is if you guys still want to be a family. I wish you well, as I always do. I'll talk to you all real soon. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Go ahead and leave your comments in the comment section. Ask some questions. We can carry on with this. I'll talk to you all real soon. God bless you. Remember, you are the only you that you can be. And you're the only one that can do it better than anybody else. There is absolutely only one you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>